Hello, I am going to talk about the Wig Guru Grip Effix new wig grip and their lace stick, uh, lace glue stick. Um, two products from Wig Guru, they're in, on Instagram. Uh, just type in W I G G U R U Wig Guru.com. There is, um, we're gonna uh, try these. Um, it came in a nice little package with a, some information and a uh, handwritten thank you card, which was a very nice touch. Um, so I'm going to try those two things on this. Um, this is a, uh, I think it was a 50 or $60 uh, Amazon wig. Um, it's a pretty cheap wig, um, like basic, it's a basic inside uh, center or T part. Um, but the lace is what we're going to be working with, um, with the lace glue stick is gluing it down and, um, seeing how that does. So we're going to go, uh, a full, I'm going to put it on, uh, let it dry for a few minutes and I'm going to take it off, uh, show you the process of how to do that. Um, <clears throat> I got my glass with some water. It's supposed to be really easy to take off. Um, so what I'm going to do is start by taking the wig grip out. I've literally not done any of this, but I wanted to uh, give you your, my first impressions of it all. Um, so we're taking it off and then it's got this uh, Velcro inside. <clears throat> Excuse me. Velcro inside, um, which feels like it might be a little rough for bald heads but we'll see um it this is supposed to be good for long longer hair um because it's supposed to to grip really good in your hair um this might actually work all right in my hair um and then it's actually got the silicone on the top that's supposed to uh, be nice and grippy um as I, as well as the velour which you can feel it and then the lace, <clears throat> excuse me again, um, for the uh, realism uh, that goes with the, the wig. Um, so I'm just going to adjust it so it's a bit bigger, so I don't stretch it too far. And then I'll adjust it uh, accordingly on my head. So I'm just going to get go in it, get in it <laughs> somehow. Uh, sorry. I don't want to stretch it um, if I don't have to. So we're going to just pull that. This is the center part, so I want to make sure that this... Um, <clears throat> God, I'm so sorry. I don't know where this has come from. Uh, I live in Georgia, South Georgia, so we have uh, terrible uh, grass and tree allergies. So I'm sorry if that's, that's probably what it is. All right, so you can see this lace. Um, that actually looks really good. It's going to help create the natural um, hairline. So I'm just kind of pressing it in a little bit. A little grip in my hair. Uh, what, what little hair I had to have. I should not have shaved before I bought this. I didn't realize uh, I was going to buy it or I would have kept my uh, inch longer hair. Um, so I've loosened this all the way. This is supposed to be good for people who don't like a lot of bulk in the back. Um, so we're going to see how that works. Um, and that feels pretty secure. It actually, actually does not feel as painful as I was expecting it to. You kind of mushing it down. It actually seems to help. Um, so next thing we're going to do is the wig install. Um, it's not, we're not permanently installing. This is literally what you call an, putting on the wig. It's called installing a wig in any form installing a topper is the same you do the same thing it's installing is just saying i'm putting it on um so <clears throat> you know just get all the hair out of the cap um i have these adjusters i'm actually going to hook them so i'm not getting any they're not in any way at the moment um okay so they just hooked up in the, the bits um so, nape up, hair in, pull it over, and 
and then so you don't have the what I call the Neanderthal head uh, pull it back um, with your tabs because you don't want it that close to your for your eyebrows you want more of a forehead um, and then this lace you're not gonna see so that's actually very good um, so you pull it back okay oh it feels really secure so that's nice I mean seriously it's uh that's pretty good okay so we're gonna get really close now for part two of this video is see we're gonna try and glue this down i've never glued this down i have a bottle of glue um that i bought that i don't like it comes out in a little dropper bottle and you have to rub it on with your fingers let it get tacky and then press it down I also have um, this rat tail comb that we're going to use. Um, so I'm going to open this. Brand new bag, brand new product. Um, the grip, the Wig Guru lace stick. Yeah, lace stick. There we go. Um, wig stick right there. Wig Guru lace stick. Um, uh, wood guru it's all backwards um it says water soluble so that's that's what's going to be really good it's just the um the taking off part um okay so i think we're okay yep there we go we're open um so what you do is you just twist it uh at the bottom until the little bit comes out like you do there um like a stick deodorant or a lipstick you just prep, keep going oh it's coming out it's pushing up the tube a little bit i don't want to do too much okay there we go it's slowly coming out i don't know if you can see this um okay um i'm just going to get a little drop out all right so you want to rub it on your hand here to give yourself a little palette to work with and then you're going to lift up and slightly and stick this under the lace and just rub it down and then press press it down okay and then my glue on this hand i'm going to rub it on the front and back like so and then I'm going to go on the other side, gently press under, making sure you don't have any wig hairs uh, stuck under there. And I'm going to press gently, and I'm going to do this all the way along. Get some more glue out. Okay. I'm going to do it. The same technique uh, get a little uh, palette on your hand um, lift up where you uh, need to go stick it under rub it down and pressing down as you go along the edge gentle not uh, be careful not to get any glue on your fingers. You can use the rat tail comb for that. Um, lift on this side, making sure not to get too many hairs. I should have moved the hairs out of the way before I started this, but uh, this is my first time, so go gentle. Stick it under. Okay, and pressing down careful not to press the hair but actually press the lace i'm not only doing this i'm not doing this with a mirror i'm not doing this with anything but a camera so it's not going to be the best and again just do this as many times as you need to uh, put your glue your lace down okay I'm 
you can feel it. You probably can't see it, but I can feel it adhering to the scalp. I'm trying not to tug it, but I can feel it. Uh, it's applying this where I need to on the very front. Just to, okay. And we're going to just keep going with the application of the glue and the this is going to take a few minutes to dry so there's no problem right now with any of this my depth perception there it goes is way off but you know okay and this gluing is not necessary for a lot of wigs now uh it's mostly for the ones that you have to pre that you have to cut most of the wigs nowadays come pre-cut. Oh, glue feels so weird. I'm just not used to it. It just, um, it does feel more secure. Um, but, oh, I was pulling up a bit there. And, you know, it's, I should have gotten some of the hair away from this edge. This is my fault for some of that. Um, so, uh, we'll see. I should have brushed the hair away. Um. So we got my glue on the thing on the my palette. Um, let me try to do this. Um, put it here. I have uh, some bio here here that's having a problem with it. Um, adhering adhering like I want it to um, so um, as far as ease this is much easier than the uh, other thing I used to have to glue one of my wigs down um, and it was uh, not the greatest um, because I think it was the the stick or the the bottle maybe put on my finger I don't know if I just know what I'm doing if I knew what I was doing enough to do it um, I don't think I have enough on here um, for this edge I think that's why it's not sticking as well um, I'm just gonna try and put some here and glue it this way Again, this is a full, full lace front wig. Um, blowing the hair down from this thing. Okay. So if it wasn't for that, it would be fine. It's just me uh, forgetting to um, any of this. It's still quite sticky on here. Um, so I think it just might be I need more application and maybe application time. That's getting, it's getting there. Okay, and the one last little tiny lift on this side, I'm gonna glue as much as I can down there. And you're supposed to sit for a few minutes. So that should give this time, have given this uh, front bit a good uh, time to, to do what I want it to do. So, um, it's water soluble, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna see how this comes off um, my hand. It's just stick it in the water. And depending on how saturated the glue is, how much glue you put on, uh, will determine how much water you need to take it off. 
Um, so if you put a whole bunch of glue on, um, you know, you're going to put more water on there. Um, so that came off. That's nice and not sticky. That's good. Um, so the lace, they come with instructions on how to use, use the lace stick. I'm sorry, I cannot talk today. Um, my mouth's like so horribly dry. So twist the pan until one or two drops appear. Uh, for cleaner application, glue on flat surface like back at hand, as I did. Uh, nice to watch videos before you do this stuff. Uh, gently slip spatula under the lace hairline and then paint the glue onto skin wherever you need it, as we've done. Apart from, the, you know, if I would have taken the glue or the hair, I mean, taking the hair, um, because it's annoying me now because I can feel the hair and pulled it back before I started gl the gluing process, it would probably be really, really good. I, it's just going to have the illusion of the baby hair stuck down, but, um, you know, my first time and, oh my goodness, a long, long time. And I'm not a gluer. I don't glue, um, wigs. So, you know, bear with me here, but it's not, I'm not the best at this process, but anyway, she's on, I can feel it's getting sticky and tacky. Um, so it is doing its job i just put i might have put it on a little too hook i like to move a little bit while it, i'm sorry while it's going on just so uh the glue will adhere a bit better because it's going to be moving anyway so um I pull up another. that was me that's me pulling it i didn't put a lot down here so you know again i i'm not i'm not this is not me i do not glue and i'm not even blonde so um anyway um <laughs> so what i'm doing is just letting it dry um you can feel it i can feel it it's dry it's still tacky but up here is dry so we'll play around with this up here i cut this lace quite far back so it is right along the hairline um apart from when it gets a bit further down here you can start to see it a little bit bubbling up in the light i didn't glue very good um i think you know it, it, you give yourself some grace uh you know it's getting used to a new product um so that's not a problem um so yeah so for anybody who wants to yeah, hold the stray hair back with a rat tail comb while gently pressing the pressing down. So, um, it's kind of what I did, not the best, but, um, you know, these are, when you do it a couple, it's like anything, you do it more than once, you usually get it. Um, so you can use a Q-tip or your wet finger if you have any extra glue around the edges. Um, and so when we remove it, what we're going to do is we're going to start by wetting it. Uh, I'm going to start at the top and just work my way down, uh, wet it with the wa the wet washcloth, just the corner. Um, and then just place to dab it, wet it, let it, give it a few seconds or a few minutes. Um, and then you start at the bottom and then you pull it off that way. So it will pull the wig off. And everything uh, if you've uh, taken the glue off correctly so now that I feel pretty dry see it's uh, still it's no it's pretty good actually it's uh, very good actually um, mm, I'm trying not to tug it too much but I want to show you you know it's definitely holding um, very well um so you can see it's i don't know if you can see that like it pulls my skin a little right there it's tugging because it's glued it's glued in and it will help you have a much more natural um especially with the 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 full lace front um it has a much more natural appearance 
instead of like flapping up or the um the harder sides that some of the wigs have um so it's very very cute very cute um this is just a it's ombre and more uh e-m-m-o-r i think was the brand um bought on amazon about a year or so ago um i've cut her she came a lot longer than this um all right so now that i feel pretty dry what we're gonna do take the washcloth i'm just gonna flip it so it's got a nice clean um piece all right dip it in and i didn't use too much glue so i'm not going to do too much saturation here um just start by dabbing but pulling down brushing down because you don't want to mess up the lace so if you have to brush it any brush down make sure you go in the direction of the lace um don't go don't brush it up and back because that can uh start to fray the lace so brush it down and forward if that makes any sense keep it just nice and wet you might need a few drops because it's got to get it's got to get down in there um Wetting all this edge. That's all pretty good. Remember, work down the lace, not up and back. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So, let's set it. I can feel it's loosening. Um, you can just feel it as you move your face. Um, it loosens up a little bit around the edges. So, after a few minutes, you know. You can start to take uh, your wig from the back. I'm usually an ear and up person, but for this, you're gonna go, Nate, you're gonna grab the back. You're just gonna start lifting it from the back. Oh, <laughs> yep, and it just comes off. Very, very good. And this stay nice and still. It actually wasn't as painful um, as I thought, and these nice silicone grips silicone piece on here is really good well so i am again not a gluer so not my favorite part but i did it for you um but the grip i like the grip this is um i like this a lot um definitely worth it check it out wig guru i do not know how to show you this the other way but the wg wig guru.com and they are in on instagram